previously on Frostpunk. And we sent our little beacon up into the air. Um, and everything's looking quite good, and we just need to rescue survivors, apparently. But uh, the second I stopped recording of the last episode, we did actually get a couple of events that we will need to take care of straight away. Uh, looking back on episode one, um, it turns out this game is incredibly um, intensive on the, on, the, on the graphics card. It's like up to 100%. So the footage you saw in the last episode, and also this episode, slightly, ever so slightly choppier than it was actually in-game, where it's actually very smooth. Um, anyway, let's have a look. A child's plea. Captain, we found a, fo a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave. He must have been there for hours. He wants you to call an emergency meeting. But he's dead. What? Oh, that's weird. Anyway, well, fine. Uh, ready to search. And people cheer as the giant observation balloon soars up above the sky. This is the beacon. Uh, this is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work they've done to make sure it happens and all that. So we've got volunteers... All wanting to do with the scoutery wouteries, which is a word. So, so, uh, go directly to the beacon to deploy a new unit. So, we need 40 wood to actually get going, and also five free workers. So, we're going to have to build up our supply. What's that noise? Oh, it's the wind. Oh, oh, you can, oh, you can scroll out using the mouse wheel. Oh, that's going to get annoying. <laughs> I'll do that accidentally, constantly. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, we do actually need, do need to build up our wood situation. We um, Last time we depleted our original sources of stuff. Um, but we have got a new one over here. Uh, now, hang on a second. Let's just, hang on, it's night time so absolutely bugger all is happening. Although the hunters are out. We've got hunter efficiency already, so that's helpful. Let's have a look at our resources. Are we haven't actually, have we not built the, um, oh we haven't even started researching the sawmill. Oh god. Okay, so that's going to have to wait. Okay, so for now we just have to wait out the night. It's almost 5 p.m. or 5 a.m., so that should all be good. Um, are we actually collecting any steel at the moment? Yes, we are. We are getting two woods and a steel. Uh, the coal situation is what we're going to need to address next, though, I think. Um, possibly before the beacon. Because um, we, we are now slowly but surely depleting. We've got four days' worth. Oh, that's not, actually, that's actually, um, that's actually quite reasonable. Another day, another shift. Well, that's life. That's life. Ah, bloody, bloody blump. And doodahs and that's right 6 p.m people are up and about i say 6 p.m i mean 6 a.m <laughs> suddenly got confused about time for some reason maybe it's all the cold it's the all these cold gusts what are you drinking charlotte apparently she's resting resting into a bottle that was a good honk good old shift starting honk there we are starting to gather the word oh the hunters are back the hunters are back um, why is the cookhouse not going to eat mates? Ah, oh, because we haven't got any... Yeah, the hunters need to give it the, um, the raw meat. And that'll all be good. Yeah, so let's, um... Let's be going for the coal when we can. We are starting to get low steel. Well, we are gathering it slowly, but mm, not very surely. Oh, God. <laughs> There's the generator pumping smoke into my face. Right, gathering post. Why is it... Hang on, what's going on here? Well, it should be okay, it's just for some reason it was glowing red. I was a bit concerned. I think that just means you can't place the building there, that's right, yeah. Ignore me. Let's get as, as usual, get as close as we can. Um, build a road. Let's try and build it like that. No, we actually do need um, one more bit of wood for that to connect up. I'm just trying to be efficient with the roads. Make it so we're not actually putting it in prime um, building territory. We have actually got enough housing at the moment. But if we actually rescue more people, we will need more housing. Uh, there we go. Now we can just finish off the road. Did I actually connect that up? I did. Sawmill researched. Good. Right. So we can start building, well, excuse, we have building a sawmill and then get these frozen tree type doodars. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go for the coal thumper next. Uh, no, 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 apparently no, I'm not. I still need 15 wood. But I'll do that when that happens. It might actually be worth looking at to see what else we can get. I mean, faster gathering, what does this, this only requires 10 wood. People gather coal, steel and wood. Whether using gathering posts or not. Uh... That's probably, that might actually be a good thing. Now since, I mean, the coal situation probably won't be a problem just yet. 
Right, so we've got nine wood. So how much does the sawmill cost? Ten wood? Oh, we can build already. Huh, nice. Well, we may as well try and get as much wood as we can. Let's see where's the most wood elacious. That'd be quite wood elacious. What about over here? Well, I mean, this will, we, we'll allow ourselves to reuse the the road. Mm. Not if it's put out there, though. Just trying to be as efficient as humanly poss. Trying to get the most bang for our buck. Um, let's go over here. I'll try and gather pretty much everything. Hmm. I am a little concerned that isn't just not great. It's one I first want to be as good as possible. It's going to have to be this one, I think. We don't want to destroy any resources. Um, there, I think. That will be good delicious. Have to. We can't build a road just yet. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, we have, we still have to do the research thing. Oh, we have to allocate resources there. So that's fine. Wait for the wood situation to improve, and then we can. Oh, it's the end of the day. Temperature's going to rise in one level shortly, so that's going to be a, a nice thing. We're no longer gathering wood. Um, where's the wood gathering place these days? It's here, isn't it? I'm going to extend the shift tonight. I want a little bit of extra wood. Oh, they, they didn't get back to the place in time. No. Well, that's that's sketch knackered then. Forget it. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. That was a waste. Well, we can't really do anything else tonight then, because we didn't quite get the wood. But they are busy doing the um, the building over here, so that's that's nice. Oh no, that's the, it's the hunters. Okay, so they have actually built that, and the hunters are just having to go the same route. Well, that's good because our hunter efficiency is up, so we'll hopefully get plenty of food out of all this. One, we have one raw food. Oh, all right. But we have actually got 132 food rations, which is actually loads. That'll last us. Oh, she's not going to tell us. Four sick, zero gravely. I uh, need to assign some workers. We can only assign nine, because we've only got nine. We also need to build a road. We should be able to build a road, actually, if I can, if I press the right button. Because um, we should be able to get close enough. Uh, oh, come on, lads! I didn't quite have enough. Need one more bit of wood. Shite. Shite on a bike. Oh well, they're not going to do anything tonight anyway, so who cares? Now we just have to wait out the night. So, day six. Still minus 40, but any second now it should start to climb. To minus like 30 or something, so it's still, it's still not going to be great. Um, but we are going to... Was, should I start trying to stop, force them to start shifting early? Yeah. Let's be pricks. There's only 60% efficiency at the moment. Treat, in treatment one, going to a building site three. Oh, so we, we've got people doing other stuff elsewhere. It's not actually built this yet. Uh oh. Oh, no, that's good. That's a good noise. Oh, hello. Oh, ha! Ah! I'm getting, there's, there's water on the lens. Now that'll be the actual um, increase in temperature, finally. So we do need a lot of wood today. We need to set off, we need to set off scouting. Uh, we need to build an extra bit of road. Oh, we need to do so much stuff. Right. I keep on pressing this. Because they, they introduced this button later on, I just I keep on pressing that instead of this button. But never mind. Alright, so that's connected that up. Uh, this research goal not set because we need to wait until we get ten words. So there's all sorts of things we need to do. Uh, just watch them at the moment, I guess. Uh, we'll need to start thinking about building new houses, but not yet. That, be that bloody beacon. Look at this. Flapping about the place. Even that little shadow as well, that's really quite cool. Right, so we are getting plenty of wood now. Let's actually set the research. Right, so I was only going to do faster gathering. I'll do, I'll do faster gathering for now. And there are plenty of other things I could do, but I don't know them yet, so no. Right. Looks like the hunters are coming back. Well, they're actually, they're, those are the gatherers, aren't they? Well, the hunters are probably already back, aren't they? So, there. 
Uh, 34 wood. Oh, yeah, the wood's going up quite nicely now. Oh, the sawmill is um, up and running, that's why. Right, now we can actually get this sorted. We haven't got five workers. Ah, okay, we may have to reallocate. Um, let's see. This is... Well, we're actually currently gathering actually probably more wood than we need, so I'm actually going to remove some of the workers from this. We currently have... Bloody hell, we've got zero. Um, normal people. Right, there we go. So, they're half efficiency. But now I should be able to create... Scouts. Waiting. Right, so I press that. Scouts number one, sent to Lost Expedition. Alright. So that, that'll that be a thing that happens. And we just have to play the waiting game. Apparently it's taking ten hours for anything to resolve there. Um, in the meantime, not a huge amount is actually happening at the moment. I'm just waiting for resources to go up. Um, steel is quite decent. Steam cores is apparently for later on in the game, so I don't have to worry about that yet. Coal is going up gently. We will need to start thinking about um, the uh, the coal deposits at some point. I'm actually going to have a look at this. Where is coal mining? There it is. But I can't get to that just yet. For now, we will need coal thumping. So can you put that anywhere then? In theory, maybe may, may I'll put that anywhere. Maybe I'll get coal from the ground itself. Just anywhere in the ground, but um, that remains to be seen. But I think that's the, our next goal for research. We've almost finished our current research. Uh, faster gathering. That'll help. Nice little passive bonus. There we go. Just in time for the end of the day as well. So, let's go for the coal thumper. 15 wood. That's fine. And everything is good. Five hours until the expedition reaches um, the place. So I'm not quite sure what they're going to do tonight. I think they're just going to... They can do whatever they want, as far as I'm concerned. They can go to the pub, have a booze, and possibly start banging in the freezing cold... Oh, hello. Anyway, cold homes. Some of the people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes. Ooh, we may need to actually research a... A new way of heating, then. Um... Heat all the homes. Hmm. Let's heat some homes. Now you can put the um, uh, the generator into overdrive for temporarily, but um, from what I've seen so far, that didn't really help very much. Um, I can't I can't increase the amount of coal we put in because I've yet to research that. So, so secure so at least livable conditions within two uh, two days. I may have to change the research then. Forget the coal thumper, and we'll change. There's just loads and loads of wood. I'm not quite sure. Um, heating. Heaters, well, that, that's only a workplace thing. We need we need to get into level one. Uh, let's build a steam hub, that might be actually useful. Then we'll be able to bung a steam hub next to our ho houses, if that's how it works. I believe it's these places which are a bit chilly. Look, ch these these houses are chilly. The houses in the... Um, in the first uh, cylinder, or row, whatever the hell you want to call it, they are livable. Whereas the, in the second um, circle, it's chilly. In the third circle, in the cemetery, it's just cold, with a risk of getting ill. That's why I'm putting all the crappy buildings further out. We could put heaters in here, but it's actually not too bad. I think they generate a little bit of their own heat, as I understand it. Uh, we're doing okay, actually. We look, discontent is down, hope is decent. I'm going to speed things up. Let's get to the expedition. Let's see what the outcome of all that is. Right, here we go. Scouts have reached the, locks, the lost expedition. Explore! The rest of our people made camp here to exhaust to go on. We should escort them to the city. Might provide survivors. I better bloody do. A happy reunion! We enter the camp, appearing out of the driven, driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcome us. Thank God you found us. We've been wandering for days until we couldn't go on much longer. Soon we begin to starve. Children and adults around us, packed and ready to go. Sites discovered. Observatory and sturdy shelter. So, we could either escort the survivors to the city or send the survivors to the city. What's the difference? This seems to be worse. This seems to be more dangerous. Scouts will set out towards our city and bring the survivors quickly and safely with them. Or, they will set out towards our city on their own. Um, the survivors. It will take longer and some of them may die. 
So what's the benefit of um, that then? I'm going to escort them. I'm, I'm going to go safe. Oh, there's more. Look at this. Oh, I see, because the scouts would be able to go further afield if we hadn't sent them back to the city. But let's try and get as many new people as we can, because the job situation is starting to get a bit... Hmm. Right, so, sturdy shelter. Um, that's mystery. Observatory. Oh, I see, when it says buildings found, this is what they found. Okay, right. Interesting. Alright, so they can't do anything just yet. But we'll worry about those later. Oh my god, I forgot that score wheel thing. First time, though. What have you been doing that so far? Right, so apparently they're going to be back in five hours. Uh, they're a bit quicker on their way back. Maybe they've actually invented sh snowshoes by now. Then we'll be able to allocate more people to our wood gathering thing, which is now more efficient, uh, because we've been clever. I think we've I think we've researched that. Day seven. I'm just having a look at this. Um, the it. it the expedition travels faster following a known route to a survived location. That's why it's only taking a few hours rather than ten. Uh, view map. Maximum number of scouts reached. I've got to hold on. Oh, it's Ethel again. And people are depending on me. She's a bit of a gob, isn't she? At least we're alive, not everyone's so lucky. I think we've, we've seen those dialogues before. I think. Look at that road to nowhere. Uh, meanwhile, coal's been gathered. Does it actually tell you if there's a... Yeah, it does. Look. Oh, no, maybe not. I'm trying to work out if there's any like them, if that tells you how much there is. Oh, hello. Never mind about me yakking on. The, s the scouts have returned. You can disband the scouts at the beacon or send them back out to the frostland. I think we should send them out again. We can either go to the crash site. Si no signs of life. They're probably our machines. Now, oh, that might get us some extra resources, maybe. Um, or we could go there, or we could go to the sturdy shelter. I'm interested in here, I think. Waiting. Ah, there we go. And 20 hours is take, taking him a bit longer. Oh, now we've got we've got a ho house. Um, we've got to house the hose now. We've got to house 35 more people. Right. So the thing is, I do supposed to be building. I need to be actually research that. I'm not actually researching anything. Oh, there I am. I'm, everything's fine. We just haven't started yet. Um. So. Oh. <laughs> Cutscene. We're back, lads! All 35 of us. Or well, approximately there. Um, it's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships. But shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We will look for the others. We don't have a choice, apparently. Right, so we've got millions of people now. Uh, I think I will actually have to start thinking about... Pressing the right button. I'm um, starting thinking about uh, building more streets. Um, we've actually got more room for like regular houses just there, so we can do that there. And um, we can probably well, we can't do we can squeeze anything in there. I think we're just going to have to sort of like expand this row here at some point. We've got plenty, we've got enough wood. Um, we've got enough wood now for two houses, so we'll do, be doing that. Um, in fact, we could just probably yeah, let's do those and those. Uh, people found a trail leading to the wilderness. We should follow it. We we must find other people and ask them to help to secure our survival. Well, thanks for that. Search for the others. Find other settlements. Okay, so that's just a um, that's just our next goal. We knew, do need to be making damn sure that we do this as soon as possible. Well, that's this that's wooden crates. This thing down here make homes livable. Time left a day and a half. Oh look, it's the mates. Are these the hunters, or are the actual peoples? Oh no, these are actually just the random new people. I thought they might be the hunters. Oh, it is the morning, so whatever. Anyway, by the looks of it, we do need... Absent 8 of 10. What's that? Why is that? Why is that? Ah. 15 available. Oh, so it should be okay. I think it's just because it's so early in the day. Or maybe not. Ah, whatever. I'll work, I'll work it out. Let's speed things up a little. We've actually got... What's this? What happened there? <laughs> Something just... Oh, no, no, no. Meanwhile, who are these lads? Are these the hunters? 
Yes, they are. Right. So. Oh, yeah, now everything's fine. This, now I think, can finally reallocate workers. That one, for some reason, had one missing. But maybe they died. Th 115 people? Bloody hell. All fully, pretty much fully stocked at the moment, so we don't have to worry about that. We've built the extra housing, so we, we only need to house with the 15 people. Um, let's... I'm doing that thing again. Yeah, let's finish off the tent situation. And there. And everyone has a place to live. We've actually got six sick people there now, so I may think about building a new thingamabob. But, more importantly, I think I need to <clears throat> and build this, well, steam hub, but it's not happening just yet. It's happening in 10 percentage time. There we go. More heat zones. Uh, we've probably got plenty of wood now, so let's finally get the bloody coal thumper going. Let's have a look at the heating situation. So where is it? Steam hub. 20 steel? Oh, that's okay. Three extra coals. So what's the... Hmm. It's these... I guess it's these houses. So I'll probably need to put it kind of like there-ish, I guess. Which will help sort out these chillier places. Actually, no, there's, it's only these two, isn't it, around here? Okay. Let's put... Make it so that when we will be able to expand as we need. You really have to put it on the streets? Bloody hell. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll build a little road outwards. Like that. And then we can build our steam hub. It's not going to get all the um, existing ones, is it? There. Hopefully that'll work. We shall see. Steam hub. Steam hub. We've got a little bit of hunger situation all of a sudden. We've got 69 food rations? Don't say it. Which is less than it used to be. I'm wondering whether we should actually get another load of hunters. I mean, we, we could probably afford to, because we've got, we've got 30 people unemployed at the moment. We'll need a few people for uh, something. Oh, hello. There we go. So this is going to be our new housing district, I guess. Uh, maintain at least livable conditions in house. So we are starting to actually get this, which is that we have to actually leave that going for a bit of time. Um, otherwise, we don't actually get it. So that's that's going to be a bit more expensive than our coal. So we will need this coal thumper quite soon, I think. Uh, sick people. I'm wondering. Maybe. Maybe. Let's, let's have a look at our sick area at the moment. Patience. Hmm. We are just about co covering this, aren't we, at the moment? Six being tr five being treated, zero in pain, care. So that's okay. 26... F okay, we do need more food, don't we? Because, of course, we've added more people. Right. That would be our next order of business. And then we can put that... Let's just randomly put it here. <clears throat> now, get building. Although, obviously, it's, um, it's 2 o'clock in the morning-ish. So, <laughs> maybe not. Oh, hello, look. The scouts have reached the observatory. Something's amiss. Snow covers the precious instruments, and the dome is open, letting out letting out a thin column of smoke. Someone's inside. The sun is dimming. Instead of astronomers, we are met by some of our lost people. They explained that they came here for help, but found everyone dead. The astronomers continue their observations until they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere, by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Uh, shout out Johan Johansson. Uh, so what do we do? Leave the survivors to their fate? No. Yeah, we'll send them out, and then the scouts can be doing something else. So the scouts presumably can now be deployed here as well. There we go. Off they go. And the survivors will make their way here, which will take 
Apparently it, won't, it will take another day for them to get back, presumably because they no longer have the scouts with them. So, we'd lose any speed bonus there. What's, what's that zero? Uh, we don't have any raw food. Oh yeah, we really do need this hunter's thing quite prioritously. Uh, yeah, people will start to get hungry. Oh, someone's in... Oh, so shit, loads of people are sick. Okay. Let's have a secondary health area. We'll put it in... We have to put it in the warm zone, I think. Are we have any builders at the moment, because, well, it is night time. But yeah, we have got some serious sickness going on now. Which is a bit worrying. Hopefully people won't conk out anytime soon. Uh, what else do I need to take care of? Food is the major thing at the moment. I've got to hold on, says Ulysses. Snelling. Harry Stokelton says, Sometimes I wonder what the purpose of our struggle is. Oh, shut up, mate. Uh-oh. Treat the gravely ill. One of our people is gravely ill. Um, right. So we could sign the radical treatment law or the sustained life law. Well, let's have a look. We could make soup, couldn't we? We, made, we, we actually made it so we could actually um, eke out our rations a bit longer, if necessary. I'm glad I did that now. Because that might actually be a thing soon. Right, so either... We do this. Uh, the gravely ill will be treated in medical posts, um, but some of them will, 30% of them will become unable to actually function, I think. Or sustain life, which means we'll just like them, let them bed block for a while until we build an infirmary later on. Ah, medical treatment. Listen, everyone. Yeah, unfortunately, just that, that made people miserable. But never mind, we've got, we've got discontent to spare at the moment, I think. Let's find other settlement. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. So is this gonna happen soon? Probably is the answer. The answer is probably. Right. Experts, assemble. Right, so we are treating more sick people. Oh. We no longer have any more steel again. Also we need the hunter's hut, which I completely forgot about. We need fifteen workers, god damn it. Well, we just about had it to spare, so not going to complain. We still actually have um, quite a few engineers to spare, which is nice. Uh, we, we're not actually making any more steel at the moment, but we're not really using spending it either. Is that steel? That's coal deposit. Coal pile, coal pile, coal deposit. Steel wreckage. Oh, there's a steel wreckage there. Um, Maybe that is the amount. That's, eh, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that yet. That can be a later problem. And now we're at the mercy of waiting for things to happen. I'm waiting, mainly waiting for the research to happen, I think. Scouts and the survivors taking a bit of time. We're going to get more people. Oh, hello. Here we go. So they create new surface deposits. All right. Let's see how that actually works in practice, then. Only 15 wood. We've got shitloads of wood. It forms a pile of coal, enough for two gathering posts. So presumably I have to do that close to an existing gathering post to make it suitable. What's that mean? I don't know. Um, I mean, put it here, I guess? Because that's... Oh. So there's a... There's a gathering post here as well. Maybe if I put it here. I'm trying to find out... One that's just oh, like, not going to be in the way as possible. I think here is probably the best place then. It's a big one, isn't it? And hopefully that'll automatically mean that gathering post will gather it. What's that? That's wood. So there'll be a, a wood and coal. A very rare wood and coal resource gathering thing. Right. Oh, steel works as well. It extracts iron ore from deep deposits and processes it to deliver up to four steel per day. Hmm. Let's have a quick look at elsewhere, though. We can't get that yet. I'm not quite sure when you actually unlock the next... I think you may have to get research everything from the same tier. I think we're going to have to go for steelworks. For 25 wood, but we've got wood to burn at the moment. Literally. Right. So let's see how this works in practice. Wood crates depleted. Ha. Huh. Actually, which one is that? Oh, that's coal over there. Need to allocate some. Oh, there's only one work. I have to use our engineers for this. 
Ah, tough titty mates. We're getting some new people in soon anyway, I think. I have to remember that the engineers are doing low-skilled stuff. Oh, here we go. Right. This The shelter is well supplied and built to withstand even the worst weather. An advanced steam heating system protects it from the cold. Explore. The trail leads to another city! The shelter is comfortable and well equipped. Blah, blah, blah. To all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there is another city out there. A signpost by the trail points in two directions. London. Home. Resources will be taken. Cool. Well, we have to go there, don't we? Steel bridge. Yes. We are doing well, I think. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to actually stop. Now we've actually um, sight, well, got a sniff of another city. Uh, we'll see how this um, coal thumper works in practice in the next episode. Uh, what's this over there? Why are we only 53%? It's because you're all shit, you bastards. <laughs> right, anyway, so we're going to get our uh, new survivors turning up very soon, which will be nice, and everything will be groovy. So do subscribe to notify when the next stuff goes live, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.